फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट we can understand the anxiety of oil producing countries to conserve their depleting reserves of crude we also appreciate their desire to a uh, strengthen and diversity their economies through investments financed by larger revenues from their exports of oil we extend our support fully to them in their efforts to secure a dominant role in the international trade in oil which has hitherto been controlled by a handful of private oil companies we have cordial relations with oil exporting countries the adverse impact of the rise in oil prices on the economies of developing countries like india is recognized by the friendly countries in western asia we have to devise ways and means of ensuring that this genuine concern is adequately reflected in concrete measures we are in close touch with oil producing countries and hope that we can find just solutions through appropriate mutual arrangements we have satisfactory reserves of coal and sizable potential of hydro electric power we possess the technology for nuclear power generation we are hopeful that our efforts at oil exploration will yield results given a little time and the necessary resources we should be able to develop these to meet our needs but the intervening years will be difficult and will call for the most disciplined effort on our part and understanding from our friends government is organizing a massive effort to develop our indigenous sources of energy and to maximize our earnings from exports efficient and increased production of our own sources of energy and of export oriented industries at most economy in the use of oil products and selective restraints on domestic consumption of exportable goods are essential for the success of this effort i appeal to all sections of the people to cooperate fully with the measures that will be taken by government the search for oil on shore and offshore will be pursued with vigor the exploration which has begun in one offshore area will be intensified we have already a joint venture for production of crude oil in iran the oil and natural gas commission had started exploration in a prospective area in iraq and similar ventures elsewhere are under consideration schemes for the generation of power will be given high priority special attention being paid 
to improve the working of existing units and the earlier commissioning of projects which are in an advanced state of construction the key to the success of our efforts in insulating our projected targets of economic growth from the rise in prices of oil lies in larger production and transport of coal department of mines and the railways have to gear themselves to the task of raising and moving the coal to various centers of consumption the state governments own their part should ensure that necessary basic facilities like power and feeder roads are made available a great responsibility rests on the managements and the one and a half million workers of the mines and the railways with their cooperation the production of coal will be increased in 2078 to 290 million tons if not more and a steady flow will be maintained to keep wheels of industry running smoothly in the present situation the maintenance of production particularly in essential sectors is an obligation we owe to our people in recent months the workers have been experiencing considerable economic difficulties in spite of this our workers who have a proud heritage of patriotism know very well that the situation can be improved only if the social tasks of production are viewed in the larger national perspective therefore workers have to make a supreme effort to increase production and to ensure quick and uninterrupted movement this is only way in which they can contribute to relieve the shortages faced by the common people the draft 11th five year plan provides the framework and the program to tackle the twin problems of food and fuel the strategy for agriculture is based on a combination of the application of new technology and widening the base of production the emphasis is on the one hand and for the small farmers on the other so that the very process of increased production ensures wider distribution reason wise as well as between different sections of the people the plan gives special importance to the development of power coal oil and transport and of industries like fertilizers which are vital for agriculture in a number of sectors a large part of the output levels envisaged in the plan is based on the assumption of full and more efficient utilization of existing capacities this is as much a part 
of the plan as a new investment for the first time integrated sub plans are being prepared within the overall framework of state plans for the development of backward areas including hill and tribal areas so that all sections of the people achieve certain minimum levels of social consumption in elementary education rural health and rural electrification store